Hi there. In this lecture, we see Paul Keres against Bobby Fischer in the 1959 Bled Zagreb Belgrade candidates, round 15. We see d4 from Paul Keres, knight f6 from Fischer, knight f3, g6. And we see the dreaded London system. <laughs> if you want to learn about the London system, check out my London system course. So yes, the London system has made appearances early back in these major tournaments, even World Candidates tournaments. Naughty Paul Cares, Paul Cares using the London system. Knight BD2, C5, C3, C takes, C takes, D5. And Fisher is offering actually with this move a pawn sacrifice which is accepted. White takes on B8 and White plays Queen A4 check winning a pawn. However, this is breaking principles of the opening and it, it is actually technically bad. Can Fisher prove it to be bad, winning this pawn? Well, he plays knight e4, which is a pretty strong move, in fact. It's encouraging a lot of pressure on d4, potentially, if, especially if white takes. White has to tread carefully. Another move, just to show, you know, black's in good shape, is queen c7. For example, e3, black castles. And here, it looks as though, even if black just gets structural damage, Everything's out and about. The rooks are out and about here. This is just a very nice position for black to cause trouble from. For example, like this. It's all ending uh, slightly better for black in these variations. Uh, here, if knight c6, this is a very tactical move. Again, it's still better for black because there's a target, for example, on e3. And there's things like c5. And yeah, it's 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 strong for black. Uh, technically, but anyway, knight e4 is also, you know, it's a pretty dangerous move what Fisher played. e3, knight takes d2, knight takes d2, and now e5. It seems, actually, this is very, very uh, promising just to undermine at this point of the pawn chain. Knight b3, black castles, queen c5. So many moves from the queen, opening principal violations here. Rook c8, Fisher encourages white to take on d5, white refuses wisely if queen takes d5 guess what fisher would play here which is simple and strong okay black actually plays now in this variation queen e7 this would be the punishment queen e7 sets up all sorts of nasties so for example bishop e2 bishop c6 skewing the queen to that uh, pawn but first queen d7 in this case because that was hitting the queen and still Black's in great shape here. If d5 taking, hitting the queen. And what, what if the queen uh, moved? It's still better. We're going to win g2. It's all better for black, basically. And here, if uh, instead of d5, if castling bishop takes g2, hitting the queen, winning an exchange. So, yeah, the Zosters actually result here. If uh, instead of queen before queen takes d5, queen e7 seems to be the very, very strong uh, punishment in this position. Yeah, this is just very, very punishing. And you don't want to allow e takes either. So, for example, bishop e2, bishop c6. If the queen went somewhere irrelevant, then, uh, you know, as well as bishop takes g2, there's also an incoming after that e takes d4. It's all pretty nasty anyway here. So the queen went to b4. But now rook e8, bishop e2, now e takes d4, knight takes d4. And now, very energetic, queen h4, queen going there to the opponent's king, wherever that may be. There's actually an immediate idea of rook takes e3, potentially, because of that pin pawn, potentially. And we see white pawn hunting again here. But the thing is, if castling that loses material bishop takes d4 and it's losing material if queen takes queen takes and then rook takes e2 and if g3 queen e4 sufficient it seems so yeah it's it's all like winning material so white goes pawn hunting yet again with queen takes b7 so a real violation of principles bishop takes d4 we have queen takes d7 the queen's just moved at the expense of any peace development from white. Bishop takes b2, rook d1. Check. So the king's on f1 now. And now Fisher plays the energetic d4. After e takes, queen e4. Queen g4. 
has white tactically got away with it after queen c4 g3 in fact here there is an improvement a very technical improvement which i actually found many years back in a video on youtube actually i was stunned to find this it's much easier to find with the better technology nowadays but at least quicker fisher played queen takes a2 white should be really punished still for the issues in the position like the uh, king man in the process of manually castling and the bishop slightly loose on e2 and the move to do this i wonder if you can spot it it's pretty subtle actually if i give you five seconds to pause the video what would you play with black hair okay it's bishop d2 yeah it's a pretty subtle move indeed uh, but it kind of loses for white if king g2 as an example h5 and then rook c3 yeah the bishop is supporting rook c3 and well it's, it makes it more effective all variations basically lose if bishop f3 h5 and bishop e1 is nasty threatening checkmate and if here rook takes and then king's brought out and kind of put in big big trouble to say the least for example like this is checkmated so yeah all the variations lose after bishop d2 now fisher's move is let off with a blunder huge blunder dropping a piece bishop b5 there's unprotected pieces here and here any unprotected piece is a theoretical downside any theoretical downsides can rise to the surface with strong tactical play quite often even if there was a configuration with a skewer as an analogy you know if we can see that fisher rises those skewers to the surface but he can definitely rise the unprotected piece issue to the surface here with a key move i hope you can guess what that key move is that this is not just a theoretical downside here of these unprotected pieces this is very practical here what does black play here if i give you five seconds to pause the video okay queen d5 yeah hits both of them yeah hitting both of them we have bishop takes e8 so if the king move we yeah, have we're just going to take on b5 if the king moves it's much simpler bishop up thanks very much but uh we have bishop takes e8 check black takes this so bishop up okay the the queen is here and the bishop's here fisher solves this with bishop e1 it's actually the position is so strong and this is a great way of solving it but the position is actually winning with various other moves as well including queen d5 because the king here would be too exposed as an example the king's far too exposed and is in huge huge trouble as this shows for example as an example but anyway bishop e1 does the job as well and white resigned so white was super greedy in the opening violating principles moving the queen too many times the prelude to that winning a pawn on a7 so yes winning material can be the expense of opening principles general principles of the opening you should be concentrating on developing all your pieces castling early and only then active operations paul Carras has been violating in a naughty way these principles when he indulged in this move of bishop takes b8 the engine suggests yes black's doing very well even though a pawn down engines are dynamic nowadays it's not all about just material they're looking very deeply into the position into the other concerns of the position fisher's excellent use of uh, baiting the queen to take even more material is so appropriate here so accurate and really you know punishing queen h4 so punishing as well and there's strong ideas of g3 queen e4 there's very just, just strong ideas all over the place here uh to be celebrated you know for example g3 here you know the king's in the center there's even queen takes d4 with the king in the center so yeah queen h4 another fantastic direct move so white put into huge difficulties and punishments basically for the violations king trying to crawl to safety fisher misses uh, an amazingly ingenious technical move to really punish even more strongly but here yeah under difficult pressure white blunders it is a difficult position but uh, white blunders with bishop b5 and then queen d5 hitting h1 and, and b5 so the rest is history after bishop e1 that was it yeah very very instructive game this one quite good fun 
while going extremely materialistic. Yes, that was one of my titles for this game years back. Keres being extremely materialistic in the London system here and being punished as he should have been as Fisher meted out that punishment. OK. Thanks very much. Hi, guys. If you enjoyed this video lecture, you might want to get more at my course, Kings Crusher TV slash Bobby Fisher, which I had a blast creating over 25 hours of video content. I tried to get the most instructive juice out of every single game covered and picking the most important games from this period. I had an absolute blast creating it, and I think you will have an absolute blast checking it out. And it's at a big discount code with this link. You know, Kings Crusher TV slash Bobby Fisher has the discount code. So I hope you do check that out. Thanks very much.